Alzheimer's, Lewy body, and dementia prevention, the future is now, because it is. This is real. When I first used the term Alzheimer's and prevention in the same sentence, I got tomatoes thrown at me from the audience. It was terrible. I got tomato sauce on my white shirt. Um, but now it's real, and we're going to show you why. Several disclosures, but in terms of the real disclosure, I have several family members with Alzheimer's disease. And my dad's, my, uncle, my great uncle, my dad's uncle Bob, and my, first, my dad's first cousin Charlotte were the first two people affected. And that's why I see things differently. And because of brain mind, I see things differently. And that's how we have to move the needle. Um, we're totally changing things. Alzheimer's prevention has absolutely transitioned from the research phase to the treatment phase. 47 million Americans and hundreds of millions of people globally have Alzheimer's disease and other neurodegenerative disorders starting silently in their brain and body. And we can do something about it, and we have to do something about it. So Alzheimer's care must be transformed, and I'm grateful to my brother from another mother, Dr. Sanjay Gupta, for uh, covering this work. The last Brain Mind talk I gave was actually covered in the documentary. I think that's how CNN found me, so thanks again. Um, and Dr. Gupta has now participated in the studies. And the data you're going to see is Dr. Gupta's data and other people's data. And this is really exciting. And because we're in California, I had to talk about Dr. Gupta. But I'm from Florida, so I had to talk about Dr. Oz. So Dr. Oz is also in our study. And, and by having the media take this to another level and spread the word um, by having these people participate in our research, because they're both affected by Alzheimer's, I think is critical. Um, blood testing for Alzheimer's is going to change everything. The cholesterol test for the brain, we're developing it right now. Everyone goes to their doctor and you get an HDL and an LDL and a triglyceride. We're going to be doing this for the brain in people's 30s, 40s, 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s, and beyond. It's going to happen. It's happening now. It's the first ever finger prick test. I showed this first ever time I ever showed it a couple of years ago at Brain Mind. Now we have over 10,000 of these finger prick tests. And now we're using software and at home testing. And that's going to get people off the road to Alzheimer's. In this NIH funded study, I'll talk about this is my family. And four people in this family were diagnosed with Alzheimer's. My cousin Irwin's bar mitzvah, Flatbush, Brooklyn, 1946. Anyone there? I missed it too. Um, and again, this is the concept that's changing. Alzheimer's prevention for 30-something with no symptoms over a decade ago, and things have now changed. Uh, we use a whole paradigm. I'm going to leave you with a link at the end, sponsored by BrainMind, of me talking for multiple hours about this topic. So I'm not going to tell you how we do this, but we do it. It's based on precision medicine. This was our 2019 paper that showed the way. It paved the way. Um, and this is the schematic. And it's not a magic pill or a magic blueberry. I love blueberries. Uma, where are you? You're going to talk about You get a shout out. Um, but it's about everything. And it's about precision medicine, and no one person gets the same plan. Um, when I started this whole thing with Brain Mind six years ago, I was an Alzheimer's prevention doctor. Now I'm a neurodegenerative disease prevention doctor because we started enrolling people because Michael forced me uh, because he said, you have to help people with Lewy body and Parkinson's too. And this is the first ever person that we've ever seen that normalized their alpha-synuclein in their blood. And then we had multiple people. And then we looked at their brain volumes. And this guy, former Olympian, did everything right. And he had five brain regions that were below the 25th percentile. And now only one is below the 25th percentile 18 months later. His brain grew. And he's not the first. And now there's multiple. There's over a dozen that we have this data in. And now we're trying to bring this to the masses through software. This is an NIH-funded study. We're presenting this in a few weeks at Cornell. Uh, sorry, at, a, at a, the American Academy of Neurology meeting. I was previously at Cornell. Uh, this is, I hope, going to change everything. Because we showed statistically significant improvements, reductions in Alzheimer's risk just through software. 75% of people were still using the software at six months. We filled the first study of 988 people in two months, and the second study of 1,400 people in less than 48 hours. Because there's a need, and software can scale. And that's how we're going to do this. APOE, APOE4, 25% of people right here. Talk about epigenetics, talk about genetics, talk about what we can do about it. We can get people off the road. I believe in genetic testing because of personalized care doesn't mean you're going to get Alzheimer's. It means you can do something about it. And I'd love to talk for hours and hours, but I don't have to, because BrainMind thankfully supported uh, an initiative at brainmind.org backslash alls that tells everyone here what you can do today to make a difference in your brain health tomorrow. Thank you to BrainMind. Thank you to all of you.